Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going on a solo mission. Buried amongst this rubbish we have in the garage you will find the street trials bike and I was recently out on this bike having a few sessions it was so much fun and I decided that today I need to ride it again so that's what we're going to do we're going to head into town and have a session so let's spin to the first spot. Okay so we've made it to the first spot which is a classic one we've been to loads of times it's got some good gaps it's really good to sort of warm yourself up and get into the session but it is a little bit slippery today so got to be a bit careful but yeah we're going to just do a few warm-up lines there's some fun gaps here and a good place to start this video first challenge is just to balance around this thing here nice little warm-up corner oh. Oh, nearly lost it. Phew! Right, we're now going to go for a little gap. So we're going to get on the wall here, and then we're going to switch foot up. There you go. That's the smallest and safest gap here because it's low to the ground, and you've not got that far if you fell this side. Plus, it's soft, so I imagine them stones would be like a foam pit. Okay, so I've got another fun little one in this zone here, and we're up in the difficulty. I'm now going to gap, try and take on the big gap. Yes. Woo. Nice. I'm pretty stoked with that line. It's a nice one there. This is quite a hard corner to negotiate. You have to turn. And then you've got the big gap down this end, which is scary because it goes out to the road. I'm actually going to get a slow motion of that right now. Oh, but we're progressing things. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is probably the hardest line here, I would imagine. There, back wheel back wheel and then the gap and that's super difficult because you have to get a lot of power from this and just the back wheel you have no momentum to go so let's try it Wow, that's so good. I'm so, so stoked with that. I've actually never done that line. It worked kind of easy once I went for it, but it's one of those like scary ones you just have to do. One more line here before we move the session on, and that is going to be to bunny hop up that wall. Bunny hop's quite an important trials trick, so it's important that you've got it warmed up for when you're having a day out on the streets. Okay, here we go. It's quite big, actually. Okay, let's move on to the next spot. You can probably tell by the lighting that it is now the next day. And the reason for that is because yesterday, as I put my bike in the van to move spot, it absolutely chucked it down with rain. However, the sun's shining today and I've found an insane line, which I'm pretty scared to do. We're gonna kick a ramp up onto the wall. You have to land back wheel on here. Front wheel's then gonna land on the wall there. And all the way along, turn around, come back, and drop back into the ramp. It's going to be quite scary. I find the trials bike scary to hit jumps because I'm so used to the dirt jump bike that that just is so small. My sort of judgment is a little bit off. So this is a bit scary, but we're going to have a few goes at it right now. Okay, to start with, we're just going to simply gap over the wall. <laughs> wow, that was scary. I went bit too quick I like didn't really have much control but I think it'll be different if I try go at the angle Thank you. 
what a line, I'm stoked with that. I wanted to turn around on the wall, but that's a bit above my pay grade that I can't make that turn just yet. So we'll stick with that. That's quite a nice drop off and a good kicker line to get, to get the blood flowing really on this session. Let's move on and do a little jib on this wall. Right here. Phew. Try to get back over it. We've now moved on to the next spot and we're just sort of cruising our way around town and come to these stairs because I want to try and go up the stairs on only the back wheel. So it should be a fun challenge. Wow, that was insane. Could I do it again? Probably not, so we're gonna move to the next zone. Just riding around town now, trying to find spots and places to ride, but it's not so easy today. We're really close to Christmas. Everyone is out doing their shopping, and a lot of the spots are still wet from yesterday, which sucks. I think since sort of false of busyness from lockdown, it was so quiet in the urban areas, but now with Christmas and people being locked away for ages, it's like, it's double the busyness now, which kind of sucks a little bit. Struggling, but we'll find something else cool to hit. That was a full lap of town, and every spot which I planned, or even old ones, are either wet or preoccupied by Christmas shoppers. We've come back to the car park where this section began, and we're taking it slightly lower level, but we're going to just sharpen up a little skill because I couldn't do a 180 turn on that wall because it was too high and dangerous. However, this wall here is perfect to practice it on, so we're just going to dial in that move a little bit. Oh. Eventually that worked good, but it's so scary. No wonder I couldn't build the courage up to do it that high up. The thing with trials that scares me is when things start getting high, but we're now going to capture that from the side. This zone actually is producing a lot of bangers because I've just discovered this, this find so this side you've got a pretty pretty tall drop but that side i think you could hop back wheel and then down we'll give it a go it's going to be pretty scary because if you get that wrong again it's quite hard to fall but i think we can do it let's just go on to it and off right we've got to commit to the big send now which is not going to be so easy but we got it. Sweet, that was working good in the end. It took me quite a few goes because there's no run up and I just couldn't hop. I could hop high enough most times to get onto the wall but not to go forward on it your weight needs to be forward and that comes with momentum so with no run up that was yeah it was pretty challenging but yeah i'm stuck with that don't know what we're going to do now i'm going to find something else to ride though we're not moving far because i found another line this is the spot that just keeps giving today so what we're going to do is on the wall instead of going down there we're going to land the back wheel here as we was and drop the front wheel onto the wall there around left zigzag and then around the front of my van and finish with a big drop off
same car park still but i found an insane one check this out on the wall there along up and then once you're on there that's not very wide like it just about fits on the inside of the wheelbase so that's going to require some precision and then you just turn go around the corner and land but that's gonna be a real hard one i think we got it though we'll, we'll see I'm done with that line, it's too slippery over there. The wall's got damp where it's getting colder and it's just really slidey and horrible. So we're coming to this wall for a little skills test. And there we have it that is unfortunately a wrap on what's been i'd say a different session to what i had originally planned so let's track back yesterday my intentions were to come out have this insane day riding trials i was going to take the kicker around and hit a load of spots that was cut short very quickly by the bad weather we then run into day two when the weather was better it was still damp out which was kind of a fact that ruined a lot and town was so busy making it really difficult to hit a lot of the spots but what this video proves is firstly you can get out and just practice a few skills on your own you don't need the best bike park you don't even need a crew of people you just need yourself maybe some headphones <laughs> and uh, some imagination and then you can have a good session but it also shows the creativity like I didn't really leave the car park when my plan was to go in the whole of town and I created so many lines and so many cool things here which I actually felt some progression on um, and that was awesome it was such a good session so hopefully that's motivated you to go out and do something very similar if you've enjoyed it give us a thumbs up leave some comments below and i will see you guys in the very next video